Hi, in the previous tutorial we had a look at the filter that gives you the possibility to apply um, simple transform operations uh, like scaling, but uh, there is also a possibility to make rotation and translation to set of cameras together with the um, models uh, so that you can keep the alignment of uh, the rasters with respect to the geometry. And uh, what if you want to apply more complex movement uh, to um, a 3D model and you still want to keep the alignment of the images with respect to the model. Well, you can do that. So, let's start again from this uh, uh, data set where we have a model, a set of images which are aligned to the model. And you see here that uh, the center of the reference space is not in the center of the model. So, suppose that you, I want to to bring the, the model and the rest uh, uh, of the elements of the project uh, with the, the center of the, the model, which is the same position as the reference uh, space. So uh, I can uh, obtain this, for example, using the manipulator tool that is, has already been shown uh, in another tutorial. So I can, for example, apply translation to bring the model more or less in the center, and I apply this, then I want to bring it more with the basis, more or less coincident with the, the uh, XZ plane, so I apply another translation around the Y axis, and just to make things a bit more uh, complex, I also want to make uh, to apply a rotation of the of the model around the y axis for example oh, sorry rotation like this one for example okay so Again, just make a final rotation to make it a bit more straight around the Z axis, like this. Okay, let's suppose we are happy with this. Okay, so essentially, every time that you use the manipulator, you're just uh, applying a transformation matrix to the model, and you can see that uh, even though I move the model, the cameras are still in the same position, so they are not aligned anymore with respect to the model, okay? And uh, moreover, I applied a kind of a complex uh, movement, a complex transformation, which is defined by this, mat by this matrix here, okay? So the idea would be to be able to uh, bring the, cam the raster, the raster uh, layers back in the aligned position with respect to the model. And this is, can be made in a quite easy way, uh, using a filter, which is in a filter's camera, and you see here, uh, transform the camera extrinsic or all the cameras of the project. Okay, so here you can see that I can define a roto translation matrix that you, I can apply to one or all the raster layers uh, in a project. Uh, yeah, if I want to apply this uh, transformation, I can use this uh, button. With this button, I will get this uh, the camera the transformation matrix which is assigned to the current layer in the of the meshes so if i re just uh, click on read on current from current layer you can see that i get this transformation matrix here okay so now that i have it i can for example decide to apply this transformation which is the same transformation that i applied already to the model only to all the other, the other raster layers if i apply that you can see that now the camera seem uh, aligned to the model, and they are, okay? So even if I applied a complex movement uh, to a mesh, I was able to keep the alignment of the raster layers, 
again, you have to be careful at this moment because if you save the project, you will keep the raster data uh, as they are now, so you cannot get back to that. If you save the, mo the, the project as it is now, you will save the model in its original position with this transformation matrix applied and the raster layer as they are. Okay. So if you want, for example, to um, make the transformation of the model permanent, you need to freeze the current matrix, save the model, and then save the project. Okay. So as you can see, even if you are applying uh, complex transformation to a model, you are able to uh, keep the alignment of all the la of the layers of the of the project, provided that you are able to uh, keep and read this transformation matrix. Okay, so it's very easy to be to be used, and uh, it gives you the possibility to handle even complex projects. Maybe you can take to um, to co to projects with raster layers. Uh, which are aligned to the same model, which is in different position, but uh, you can think of uh, moving one, one model to the aligned position with the other and uh, just apply the, um, the transformation to all the raster layers so that you will be able to put together two uh, projects uh, regarding the, the same object, but maybe they were taken in two different reference spaces. Okay, so this is quite powerful and quite easy to use. Thank you.